Hi everyone! Welcome back to part two of How to Paint Dahlias. I hope you watched the first video. Um, it's a pretty complicated design. Very simple though. Um, I have included a little drawing in this video. It will also be on my Pinterest page under the title of tutorials. So you can go um, to my Pinterest page look up the folder tutorials and print that out. Um, it goes over each of um, the flower themselves, the petals, the center, the buds, and all of the different types of leaves. This is the completed painting. Um, it's done on paper. And I hope you'll join along. So let's paint. So part two of this tutorial of how to paint dahlias, um, we're starting with the little bud that's on the lower right. Um, actually, it's not a bud, excuse me, it's a full flower. So the middle of the full flower is, um, these are the petals that are purple on the back side. So the deepest shade, we're gonna use the dioxin purple in between those petals. The backs of them will be a mixture of permanent red, um, a little tiny bit of the dioxin purple, um, a fluorescent red also, that makes up the majority of those petals. Those are actually the underside. So um, now the process to start these petals is pretty much the same as the first tutorial. Um, those outer petals are using um, the shade around the middle of the flower is um, burnt sienna. That was my shade color. And um, the, that also, I used that also in the middle of the petals. Um, and you'll see in the drawing that I did, there's two little curved lines that that curve towards each other. Those are little sort of divots in the petal. Um, and those were used, um, I used some of the um, burnt sienna mixed with the fluorescent red. Those give that nice sort of shaded area in the middle. The highlights on these petals is a mixture of um, the fluorescent red, which is really beautiful, and a titanium white. Um, and those three colors were pretty much made up the entire um, outer petals. Again, the burnt sienna is the shade, um, the permanent red, and the fluorescent red were the main parts of the petals. And um, this little flower, the underneath flower, I did do a little bit more of a pink. So the, the larger dahlia had a lot more of the fluorescent red. Um, and you, can set, you can see it's a darker, darker pink and this lower um, flower to the bottom that I'm painting now was just, it, I made it a little bit more pink just to change it up a little bit. Um, again, I think it makes your drawings, your paintings a little bit more interesting if there's a little bit of variation in all of your, um, your flowers. So again, I'm using a little bit of a liner brush um, to go through and add more detail, refine the edges of the petals um, with that burnt sienna and a little bit of the permanent red. And I also used it um, to add like a white around the outer edges of the petals. Um, so that white really helps to break up the areas, um, breaks up the edge of the petals, um, defines them more. And um, you can see just what a difference it makes. And I'm going back into that middle area and adding a little bit more of the dioxin purple and a little bit more of the burnt sienna to make that area inside that bud sort of recess a little bit more, add a little bit more shade, knock it back a little bit into the background further. It just gives more dimension. Um, so again, you're just basically refining and defining. You're using your shadow to push things back. You're using your highlight to bring things out. And then lastly, what I did was I went back through and added just a really thin wash of the fluorescent red because I felt like the, the, the white tended to make it a little bit too pale. So I wanted to add just a little bit more pink 
um, and just in layers. Now these little um, full buds, I use the permanent, um, excuse me, the fluorescent red just at the very tip. I used a burnt sienna to shade um, in the recessed areas of the petals. On the back side was a hooker's green. Um, and working towards the pink tips was um, a medium olive green. Um, and so you're just going to define your drawing. Um, the petals outside um, of the bud were the hooker's green. Down in the recessed areas, it was a really dark concentration of that green. Working out from the um, towards the tips of those petals, um, I moved into the medium olive green um, and added just a really, really bright um, area on the tips. Same thing with the, the lower bud. The burnt sienna for the middle recessed, a little bit of the fluorescent um, red mixed with white for the tips. Moving down the petals, um, I used the medium olive green and then worked into the hookers green. And then what I did was I went back in through those areas. Um, what I'm doing now is adding the burnt sienna mixed with the, the hookers green to really add a nice deep shadow in those recessed areas on the flower buds. Now beginning the leaves, um, I based them in a hooker's green and I mixed it with the burnt sienna, especially in the areas of the leaves where I wanted them to appear underneath another leaf or underneath a petal. It makes a really great shaded um, green area for your leaves. And then, you know, you'll see the drawing that's included in this um, where there's shade, you can see where there's a curve. I'm a, so when you're painting these with acrylic, you have to work in layers. So you're basically just going to be, you're not going to get a full depth of color in one swipe of your paintbrush. You're going to do a little, um, add a little bit of green mixed with the um, burnt sienna and let that dry down a little bit and go back over the top of that and keep adding. That's how you add interest, how you add layers. Um, and the stems are basically just the hooker's green mixed with the burnt sienna again. And again, you're gonna have the burnt sienna more in the areas where they're gonna be, your stems would be shaded. Um, as you move away from that, you're gonna add more of the medium um, olive green to your hooker's green so you get a little bit of a brighter green. And then you can add a little bit of titanium white also to that uh, medium olive green to get a really nice highlighted um, light green. Now the stems of a dahlia um, actually have, they're sort of a variegated sort of striped. So you're just going to drag your brush straight down to get those um, variations and a variegated, variegated look to your stems. So you can see I just keep moving around my painting, around the leaves, and you just have to keep adding layers to your leaves and your stems, whatever you're painting. Again, it's all in layers. Now I'm using the, um, a, the medium olive green mixed with some white to add the veining over those darker green leaves. And I'll go back over um, those uh, leaf, you know, parts of the leaf where I didn't add the veins next to the next to the veins, um, I'll add a little bit more of the um, hooker's green, and you're just going to keep layering those colors over um, towards the tops. You're going to add a little bit more of a highlight look, um, and I'm using a very fine little tiny brush for that. It's a little liner. Also, adding a little bit more of striping to that stem to get a really realistic look. And the last thing I did was I used that liner brush with the burnt sienna to go back in through and pick up certain areas and refine certain areas of the stems um, and deepen those um, parts of the stems and the leaves. It makes it have a little bit more realistic. I did work off of a real plant, which I think does help to get you, um, if you have that opportunity to work from real life, it really does add a lot more life to your botanical drawings and paintings. If you don't have that, um, you can use sort of a reference material. Um, any reference material that you can find, any photos you can find online are great. Books are great to work off of. Um, whatever you have available for your reference material helps. 
I hope you do give this tutorial a try. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll have a full list of materials as well as the paint colors in the description. And again, don't forget you can go to my Pinterest page, um, Molly Pope Art, and look in the folder Tutorials, and you can find all of the drawings that I put on my YouTube videos. Um, all the drawings are there in that folder, free for you to print off and work off of for your drawings and your paintings. And again, I'm just refining those edges, all the edges of the stems, um, the veins, with just that really fine little tiny liner brush. So what do you think about that tutorial? Did you learn something? Um, can I help you in any other way? Answer any questions on how to paint dahlias or any other type of flower? Please drop that in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer you. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch. Um, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Again, thank you so much. I appreciate it.